somewhere by his brain. Right? And it's a lie. So now what happens is, <laughs> this, this Namrud, who's a tyrant from the earth, who wanted to challenge Allah, he's got a living mosquito inside him, and that mosquito is sucking blood. Baby, you can call me a Superman. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan. And your girl Fanny Longo. And we are Fanny and Jesse. So right about now, we're gonna do another reaction. But before we get into the reaction, guys, we wanna thank everybody for subscribing to the channel with the realest MVP. And if you're new to this channel, we are Fanny and Jesse, and we do reaction videos. Most of the time, we do reaction videos, and we also do vlogs and blah and um and also we do challenges and if you want to be part of our patron you can just hit the link below and become part of our patron probably we're gonna put more of our vlog uh, live in there if you want to follow us on social media there's a uh, links that they're gonna appear over here on our lower thirds just make sure to just follow us and see what we do in our daily lives and yeah so right about now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a reaction video who suggested that savage Mm -hmm. Yeah, Savin suggested that we should go react to Nimrod, the tyrant who challenged Allah. So without any further ado, let's get it. Namrud, a tyrant, a Jabbar on the earth. Namrud, you know, he, he said, okay, if God exists, then I'm going to fight that God. Here's another Jabbar, a tyrant. So here comes Namrud, the Jabbar, and he says, Okay, my army, he had a massive army, he said, okay, army, come together. We're going to take our um, arrows and we're going to shoot them straight in that sky from where the revelation comes to Ibrahim. And he got his whole army out. And he said, come on, you call yourself Allah, God? Well, if you're there, I challenge you. So this Jabbar challenged Al-Jabbar, the real Al-Jabbar. So he shot and he shot and he said, come on, come, come, come on, fight me. Where are you? So Allah Azawajal said, okay, <laughs> you wanna fight? Allah sent down mosquitoes. Mosquitoes. You know when a mosquito bites you, you know, it's still alive. You know, that's when these mosquitoes came, you know, what's all this? Hey, 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 hey. There's so many, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them all over the place. The soldiers were running everywhere, were running, running. Right? They're running. And Namrud, you know, he's also running. But what happens is, you know, this one, that's one. A mosquito's here, right? And, and he goes, he sniffs <laughs> and the mosquito goes into his nostril into, and Allah makes that mosquito survive. So that mosquito is now alive and he's somewhere there <laughs> inside his, his head and onto his brain, somewhere by his brain. Right? And it's alive. So now what happens is <laughs> this, this Namrud who's a tyrant on the earth who wanted to challenge Allah He's got a living mosquito inside him, and that mosquito is sucking blood. Every time he sucks blood, right? Every time he sucks blood, he needs some, he needs to, he whacks his head. He whacks his own head. And when he whacks his head, then the mosquito stops, and he gets a bit of relief. When the mosquito gets hungry again, he sucks blood, he whacks his head. Then now he's getting tired of whacking himself. So he told his, his soldier, and so he said, hey, listen, Stand next to me with this with this club. You know, if you have a mosquito and you're trying to sleep, what's the sound of a mosquito? Right? This thing's in his head. So it's going, and he's going mad. So he's telling this guy, no, hit me. So he hits it. That's good. That's good. That's good. And he, he rests for a little while. And he says again, when the mosquito bolts, he says, hit me. So he hits him. This soldier is standing there. He's hitting now the king. He's hitting Namrud. And Namrud challenged Allah. So he's hitting Namrud. Now he's hitting him. Now this soldier, now days are going by. And this, this, this king is going mad. He's going insane. He's buzzing sound. He's sucking out his blood. So this soldier got so 
sick. You know, the, so the soldier's holding this club and he has to hit him. And he has to hit him. And he's saying, yeah, it's tiring to do that. Right? And each time he hits him, the buzzing doesn't stop until he hits him a bit harder. So now the, the wax are getting harder. And this guy is taking a lot of blows in his head, right? Because of this mosquito. In the end, the soldier thinks, you know, oh, that's enough, man. Let me just give him one. Let me try to kill the mosquito. So he whacks this king. And by hitting him so hard, this guy collapsed on the ground. And that Jabbar is dead on the ground. So what do you think about this story? Nimbro. It's a very very short story. Maybe there's an extended version of this. You think this was a real type of story? It was just a myth. Just trying to... You know, there are people in this world that challenge things. So you think this guy was like a one of five god? And he called the army and started throwing arrows up there? It's possible. People believe God is up. Do you believe like God is up there? Only? Like heaven up? Uh, I mean, uh, people look up, they feel like that's the heavens. I feel like heaven is here, so... Heaven is here, mm -hmm. on earth. Mm -hmm. uh, explain that to us. What do you mean? I'm just when saying... When you say heaven is here, what do you mean? That's not part of the topic. What I'm just trying to say, since I believe God is among, around us, he doesn't have to be. I, I believe my heaven is here, just that simple as that. You believe you have to um, have any state of mind? I didn't say it's a state of mind, I just said it's here. Like you can make your own heaven. It's here. Listen right. to what I'm saying. Yeah, it's true. Here. Uh, heaven is here. Probably even hiding us from heaven. And they're not <laughs> hiding you, you see it. <laughs> Nah, it's, this is not heaven. You think this is not a true story? Oh, I'm trying to answer you. This, this where we are is not heaven. I didn't ask you. I mean, you believe one thing, I believe another. Right. Well, such is life. So, um, it can't be a true story, but will it look so down for you to just go out and start shooting in the sky? Come on. I think it's a myth. If you sit down and think critically, it doesn't add up. You think it's a myth? Yeah, it's just a story. Where do you think heaven it's just is? a story to create to Where make you, you have more faith. Heaven mm. is. I think heaven. Uh, I think heaven is. Um, uh, okay, according to what I've read and heard. You know, according to what you believe, not what you. Care, according to what, what I believe, read. heaven is beneath us. Mm. Yeah. So where do you think God is? God is everywhere. God is so within me. They should have God is within me. I see God in you. I see God in where any other person. They should have aimed the arrows. They would have aimed the arrows. Each other because God is within us. That would make sense. So that if I am an arrow to you, you'd come to an, to a point whereby why are you shooting me? You get it. You come to a point whereby it's not good to shoot me. So what they were doing actually, it was it, it didn't make any sense. Actually, it did not. Okay, what did whether, they achieve? They did not achieve real, anything. Whether real or not, I believe this story is supposed to um to get to to put you on. It's on, supposed on, to check you. To put you on faith. So that's what you believe. Can I talk? Okay. I believe it's supposed to check you. I mean, you're not supposed to. It's pretty much telling me you're not supposed to challenge God. Yeah, sure. He's sure. above you, respect him and what mm -hmm. not. That's true. Now just have faith, like you said, the faith thing. So yeah. what lessons do you get from this, whether real or fake? Don't challenge, it? don't don't challenge God. But I feel like to, to some extent you have to question. You get it? You have to question. Just like your father, you have to question your father. I know you at some point there's that level of respect, but you need answers, get it? Because you can't, you on earth you see things happening the way they're happening, you have to question, answers you need answers. Important. You need answers. Did you like, ask your father why are you my father? 
Mm, not like that. Not like exactly. that. So if, why are you going to say why are you my god? No, that's not a. Why and would you ask it. somebody why, why are you People my are father? Curious. No, you can't know. But if something happens, if something you... happens that probably is something that probably happens, and then you hear there's a father out there, then you can ask. But you can't just go randomly and ask, "Are you my father?" No, I'm saying, for example, here on Earth, there are a lot of things are happening here. A lot of things are happening in here. But you have, you have when you pray. I mean, is, is, is it is it bad to question God and ask why is all this thing happening? You need answers. You get it. That's different. This one, this king, king. Mm -hmm. Challenged, I guess. Maybe you wanted to be the only king. Or Probably. The highest to you never know. Of them powers. I never know, but and I think the story is just to tell us to not challenge God, because now God sent down the mosquitoes, and they started biting them. Yeah, those bad mosquitoes, cetaphilies, are really bad. But anyway, it's a nice uh, story. It's a nice skip. It's a nice short story. Yeah, I feel like there is more to this. There is more lessons. Yeah. We're more able to pick up at the moment. Of course. You really have to think about this afterwards. Yeah, sure. Let us know. What do you think? What do you think, guys? Anyway, so tell if... us what lessons we can. What other lessons we can yeah. pick up from this story? Yeah. Just let us know in the comment section below. And yeah, guys, if you feel like you reacted to this video in a better way, just give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to go down our comment section. Tell us exactly what you feel about our reaction. And what do you feel about um, this story of Nimrod, the tyrant who challenged Allah? What do you think about it? Just let us know in the comment section. Give us your opinion. Yeah, just let us know. And uh, the most important thing, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. The more you keep subscribing, the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you better, better content. And last but not the least, we're going to see you in the next video. And peace out.